Hey everybody and welcome back to my video. So today's video you're going to see um, set up a buffet table with no shapers. So this is just a simple sandwich and salad type of buffet that I'm doing today. So you want to make sure that you get your tablecloth on and it's not too long or short. And as you see I'm checking the length in the front to make sure that it looks even out in the um, front and that all of the sides of the table are like good and stuff like that because you want your tablecloth to look good. So now you're going to see me still straighten out the table because it's really imperative that you have the tablecloth just right. Um, so now I'm going to be just putting stuff on the table. So I'm going to start with my menu sign and that's always going to be on the left hand side. And people read left to right and you want your buffet to match the order of the menu so now here I am with the plates I'm just doing like a little diagonal thing going on so the um, guests can really really access the plate without struggling especially since they are plastic plates per the clients request now I'm just unwrapping so there's the menu right there so that's a riser that I put on the table and no that actually is not a menu I'm sorry that's the BEO which is banquet event order so now I'm going to be putting the flowers there and yes the water is pink the flowers did dye the water pink um, I think just because it's a potent color and I don't know the water was fresh and clear and then as I was, as the day was going on, etc., the water just turned pink. So now I'm just seeing how to, what else to bring out next. So that looks like that's the salad dressings. Since the client did ask for assorted salad dressings, so I just found like something skinny. To have and I'm going to place it where I think it should go but um, actually later on I had to move it closer to the flowers and just arrange the table because it was so packed with stuff um, the meeting was only for 30 people but they required a lot of different stuff so that is the condiments right there that you see which is mayonnaise and mustard And that is pickles also that the client requested since it was a sandwich um, buffet, like I mentioned before. Now dessert plate. So again, I'm just placing it where I think it should go. Another riser. Risers are extremely important for the um, look of the table. And having more than one riser um, should definitely help it create some sort of dimension and also create space. And I also included some clear tumbler cups because the beverages were bottled water and lemonade. Um, and even if it and even still because it's in bottles and cans, people don't really necessarily drink out of those. They will prefer to pour it inside of a cup. So you always provide cups that match the beverage. So if it's something hot, you want to have hot cups. Not hot cups, but you want to have cups that can um, hold hot beverages and then, you know, tumblers or something else that can hold cold beverages. So right there, um, you, that is the salt and pepper. Always, always, always include salt and pepper on your buffet, your food buffet. If it's just a dessert buffet, you obviously don't need it. But on any dessert, I mean, food buffet always includes salt and pepper so here I am trying to fit the cutlery in 
make space for some way, somehow. And now I'm just trying to really play with space here because I know that I'm going to have so many sandwiches and so much going on. And I want to try to create so much space. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below. And the buffet, obviously, you see it is really coming together. So, unfortunately, I did not get a picture of the actual.